Hey guys, quick video. If you're having trouble setting a monitor and um, you have a, you know, uh, if, if, you're a, if you're a technician or maybe even if you have a scan tool with these capabilities, um, a lot of manufacturers have them. I know that GM definitely has them. Um, you can go into additional DTC information, all right? Then you can go to uh, not ran this code, not ran since code cleared. And what that's going to do is going, it's going to show you all of the codes and tests that have not ran in order to get the monitor to set. Now, as you can see, yesterday I had a bunch of EVAP, um, EVAP heater codes and also, you know, oxygen sensor codes. You know, thank God now we've gotten the heater and the oxygen sensor to both set. So now those are no longer here. But as you can see, you know, the EVAP, the whole system, you can see the last test results not run not run not run some of them will say run past now what when this is going to be um it, this is going to be useful is just say you're you're you know um you're you're diagnosing a system where the monitors won't set for example like an oxygen sensor monitor will not set now like this vehicle here this is a 2007 pontiac g6 with a 3.5 it has four oxygen sensors. So now just say that you come in here and now you can't, we've done everything, you, you've you've driven the vehicle as, you know, per the drive cycles. Now you come in here and you just say, for example, argument's sake, there's four oxygen sensors with the codes right here. Now, if you look at them and now three of them, you know, have ran their test and passed and one oxygen sensor, just say, you know, bank one sensor two is not running. Well, that can be an indication that, you know, we have a problem somewhere either in that circuit or with that sensor. So you can look closer at that uh, sensor and, you know, you can maybe help yourself uh, fix the problem as to why the monitors won't set for that specific monitor. Thanks, guys. If you like this, subscribe for more tips.